Questions 1 through 10 on the 2020 Grade 7 Goss Math Contest. One pen costs $2. What is the cost of 10 pens? 10 pens, each pen is $2. Multiply 10 by 2 and you get 20. Number 1, the answer is E. In the diagram shown, what are the coordinates of P? So we've gone 2 across and we've gone 4 up. 2 across and 4 up is the point 2, 4, number 2. That would be E. Which of the following integers is closest to 99 times 9? Well, 99 times 9 is 891. And of the answer choices, the one that 891 is closest to is 1,000. So number 3, the answer is D. In the morning, the temperature was minus 3 degrees Celsius. In the afternoon, the temperature was 5 degrees Celsius. How many degrees Celsius did the temperature increase? So we went from minus 3 to 5. So on the number line, that would be a distance of 8. Because it originally it's minus 3, then you're going to go to 0, which is 3 units, and then another 5 units. So that's why it's 8. Number 4, that is A. Alexis took a total of 243,000 steps during the 30 days in the month of April. What was her mean number of steps per day in April? 243,000 divided by 30 would be how you calculate this mean. And when you do, that is 8100. So number five, the answer is B. In the pie chart shown, 80 students choose juice. How many students choose milk? Well, this symbol means 90 degrees, and 90 degrees refers to one quarter of a circle. So juice is chosen by one quarter. So that means milk is chosen by three quarters of the people involved. So if one quarter is equal to 80, then three quarters must be equal to three times 80, which is 240. So 240 people chose milk number six, the answer is C. In an increasing list of consecutive integers, the third and fourth numbers in the list add to 11. What is the sixth number in the list? So if we have a bunch of numbers, and let's say this is the third, this is the fourth, fifth, and sixth. The third and fourth add to six. So what two consecutive numbers add up to 11? Sorry, 11. And the answer is 5 and 6. Those are two consecutive numbers that add to 11. And in this list, they want you to figure out the sixth number. Well, if you keep going and making this list, it's 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on. And the sixth number, of course, is the 8. So number 7, the answer is D. Tick marks are equally spaced along a number line with the numbers P, Q, R, S, T, U labeled as shown. Which of the following represents... Uh, the value of R divided by the value of U. Well, if they're equal, then that means you have 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 divided by 1 is the distance between each of those tick marks, so that's 0 0.25. So P would be 0 0.25, Q would be 0 0.5, R would be 0 0.75, and then T would be 1.25, and finally U would be 1.5. So then what do they want? Uh, R divided by U. So R is 0 0.75 and U is 1.5. And that is equal to 0 0.5. And therefore, number 8, the answer is B. In the diagram, the perimeter of the triangle is equal to the perimeter of the rectangle. What is the value of X? So the perimeter of this triangle is 14 plus 12 plus 12 because this symbol means that those two sides are the same. And that perimeter is the same as the perimeter of this rectangle. So if that's 8, that's 8. And if that's x, this is x. So it's going to be x plus x, which is 2x, plus 8 plus 8, which is 16. So on this side, we have 38. And on this side, we have 16 plus 2x. If I do the math here, 38 minus 16 is 22. 22 is equal to 2x. Therefore, x is equal to 11. Number 9, the answer is C. 
The positive divisors of 12 other than itself are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6. Their sum, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 6, is greater than 12. An abundant number is a number for which the sum of its positive divisors other than itself is greater than the number itself. This means that 12 is an abundant number, which of the following is also an abundant number. Let's do the same process for each of these and let's figure it out. First of all, let's list the divisors other than itself. So the divisors here would be 1, 2, and 4. Can include 8. Now let's get the sum and that sum is 7. Is this, uh, or rather, is the sum greater than the number itself? Because that's the uh, definition. The sum of the positive divisors is greater than the number. Well, the sum is 7, the number is 8, so no, that's not true. 7 is actually less than 8. Okay, let's keep going. Here it's 1, 2, and 5. The sum is 8. 8 is less than 10, so again, not abundant. Here the positive divisors are 1, 2, 7. The sum is 10. 10 is less than 14. 18, 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, the sum is 21, 21 is greater than 18. So that means 18 is the abundant number of the list of answer choices. Number 10, the answer is D.